Now let's talk about women or female gender or girls. When we talk about them, their upbringing is totally different. They had been taught since childhood that how to be safe, how to protect themselves, how to not do certain things. Like for guys, there are lots of should be's. In contrast, there are certain should be nots for the girls. The list of things that should not be done by the female gender is quite enormous that it's really difficult for them to deal with all of them. Since childhood only, certain girls are forcibly taught what not to do and how to stay dominated. They are not taught how to fight against the disrespect, fight against the ill treatment, fight against the misbehavior towards them. They are always taught how to tolerate all those misbehaviors, how to be silent about those ill treatments and disrespects, downgrading behaviors towards them. And their mentality develops in that way only. That's why maybe they are very fearful all the time. For women, it's okay to cry, but it's not okay to protest, which is actually opposite to how society deals with men. If a woman is crying, it's okay, it's taken as a normal thing, but if a woman is protesting, speaking loudly or laughing loudly, then it is not taken as a normal thing. It always raises the eyebrows of those chauvinistic people around us. So this upbringing of women since childhood only also affects the mentality of lots of women around us. Because there are lots of women who aren't okay with all this feminism kind of thing, the fight for equality between men and women. Another thing is that women since childhood are not being forced or being treated that way. Certain things are told to them such as why they need not to be educated, why they no need to work or fight for their needs, why they need not be independent. They are always asked to be dependent on other men. Sometimes on their father, sometimes on their brother, sometimes on their husband and sometimes on their son. But it's not important for them to build a career, be outspoken, be extrovert or speak for themselves. To raise their voice and to protest. But how to tolerate, cooperate, understand, how to show love and care. Especially this is given 100% of training since childhood. So, this difference in upbringing since childhood should change. Then only it will portray in their behavior in future lives. And all these unnecessary fights that goes on between men and women, it will stop. It's not important. So, equality should be in case of the opportunities that both the gender receives.